In this video, we're going to look at the new script feature inside the portal in PowerShell version v5. The script feature allows you to assign scripts to users and then have them access it in the portal without having to go to the admin console. In my environment, I have two different scripts set up. Um, one of them is a get user script, and if I click the edit button, you can see it's just calling get local user. So that just returns the local user accounts on this machine and um, you know displays their properties such as their username, when their password was last reset, and that kind of thing. So I'm just returning that as um, objects to these jobs. And if we actually go look here, you can see this is kind of the output of that script. And um, the pipeline output will actually be um, you know, user objects with uh, all the properties. I have another script in my environment that actually uh, creates a new user. And if we look at the code for that, um, it's a little more involved. It actually um, has a param block at the top to accept some parameters for this script. Um, we have a name, a password, and description. I've added some uh, attributes onto these um, parameters. So I have a parameter attribute. Um, the name and password are mandatory. I've included a help message so that it'll show up on the portal. And I've included a description parameter as well. To ensure that my password is secure, I use a secure string um, parameter here. And then from there, I'm actually importing the local accounts module. This module is actually not the one that's built into Windows, which is currently broken as of the recording of this video. But there is a community version of local accounts that is available that does work with PowerShell uh, 7.3 and up. Uh, then I'm calling new local user, passing in the name, password, and description. And um, it will create that local user on this machine. Uh, I've also included some documentation. This is a new feature in PowerShell v5. You can put whatever you'd like in these documentation files. It's just markdown. So you can include images, you know, lists, um, paragraphs of text, titles, and that kind of thing. And it will actually show up in the portal um, under the script. So in terms of uh, kind of configuration for the portal, what I've done is I've actually assigned this um, script to the administrator role. This could be whatever role you'd like. You could have a custom role here, um, such as, you know, local user management role or something like that. And then I've set the portal output to table for this script. Um, in my other script, I've actually set it to administrator again so that they can access this particular script in the portal but I've set the output type to none. So it will display whether or not the script was successful, but it won't display um, any pipeline output or any script output. It's just kind of a, a UI um, result. So let's go and see what that looks like inside the portal. So collapse these, you can click view portal right here. And when I go to the portal, because I'm in an administrator role, you can see my two scripts show up here. Um, and let's run the get user script. So if we click open there, it's gonna take me over to this page. This has no parameters, it has no description or anything. I could have included some markdown here, but it just has a single submit button. And if I click that, you'll see it returns a table because that's what I configured um, PowerShell Universal to return for this script in the portal. Uh, just called get local account, and you can see it has all kinds of information about the account. If I wanted to, I could have adjusted that script to maybe select only a certain properties or that kind of thing, um, and then it wouldn't display all this information, but I just called get local user and this is kind of what's returned. So let's look at the experience for actually creating a new user. Um, I'm gonna go to services and I'm gonna click the create a new user account button. Now you can see this one has a little more information. We have uh, the markdown actually from that documentation file is rendered up here. So again, this could include all kinds of information, images, lists, that kind of thing. But I just have a header and, and some text in there just as an example. Um, and now you can see that I have a name, password, and description field. The name and uh, password field are um, required because it had mandatory in the parameter attribute inside PowerShell. And then um, the description is not required. So let's just create a test account. And we'll give it uh, a password. I'm actually going to want to save it. And this is a test account. So now if we click Submit, it's going to go out. It ran that script. Um, you can see it says it ran it successfully. We go back to services. Let's click get users again and click submit. And now you can see test account has been created here. Um, and you can see like the password last set was um, set to uh, just a few seconds ago. So it actually went out and created that account 
set the password and set the description and name for that account. So um, not only can you kind of view um, it from this way, this is kind of how your end users would see it, you still have the, uh, the same kind of backend experience that you had in PowerShell Universal v4 as an administrator. And you can actually go in and see all the jobs that ran. So you can see where we first ran get um, user, and then we ran create new user. You can see that there's the test account getting created, and you can see the parameters that were passed in. And then um, you can see get user being called again, and this time test account is in the list. So you still have all the auditing. You can see uh, what user ran it on what machine and what environment and that kind of thing. So um, yeah, so this is kind of a great way to present your end users with a really easy to use um, form with no um, coding besides your PowerShell scripting that you need to do. Um, you don't have to do any kind of UI authoring or anything like that to get a simple form inside PowerShell Universal up and running in PowerShell version five with the new portal feature.